guys in the previous video we have discussed about the CE, CB and CC configurations in detail their input and output characteristics and all so in this video we are going to compare CE, CB and CC configuration of BJT in brief Firstly, when we are talking about the comparison of these three, the CB, CC and the CC configurations, we have to discuss about the circuit arrangements at first, right? So we have, in CB configuration, we have the common base. The base has common. The base is common here in between both emitter and collector. So when moving to the CE configuration, we have the emitter in common to the base and collector. Um, this is how... If you think this is how we have already discussed about the CE configuration earlier, we ha will have VCC here. So emitter is common to both base and collector and in the same way in the CC configuration we have collector common to both base and emitter. So when talking about the definition while comparing these three, Coming to the CB configuration, the base terminal acts as an intermediate between the input that is the emitter and the output that is the collector. So this is also called as grounded base configuration. And the emitter terminal, in case of CA configuration, the emitter terminal acts between the input that is the base and the output collector. So this is called this is also called as grounded emitter configuration. When talking about the CC configuration, we have the collector terminal acts as an in intermediate between input base and the output emitter. So this is called the grounded collector configuration. When talking about the input impedance characteristics, the input impedance for CB is low, that is around 100 ohms. So when CE configuration has moderate input impedance that is 750 ohms. So CC has high input impedance 750 kilo ohms. High right. So when output impedance is high for CB configuration is around 450 kilo ohms. Kilo ohms value it's high and It's the output impedance of CA configuration is moderate again. It's around 45 kilo ohms. So the CC configuration has low output impedance around 25 ohms. When talking about the voltage gain, CV has voltage gain approximately 150 and CE has 500 and the CC has voltage gain less than 1. We have talked about the voltage gain and then the current gain, right? CB has the current gain value 1. It's and the both CE and CC configurations have high current gain. The phase shift between input and output voltages is 0 to 360 degrees, 0 or 360 degrees in the CB configuration. It's 180 degrees in CE and 0 or 360 in CC. So, and uh, the current amplification factor, alpha is equal to delta IC delta i in case of cb and beta is equal to ic by de delta ic by delta ib for ce and gamma is delta i by delta ib for cc and coming finally to the applications of these three configurations we have cb used for high frequency circuits and CE 
used for audio frequency circuits and CC finally used for impedance matching. And that's all we have to talk about the comparison of these three configurations of transistor in brief. Thanks for watching.